Welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you another movie review. Yes, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the new look to the Movie Throne. Things are going to be doing or be done differently moving forward. It's been a tough, let me, before I even dive into that, it's been a tough several weeks. You know, I had the loss of my beloved uh, Tinky Marie there. It was a tough day for the king. Uh, the king was in a dark place and through, I guess, not a miracle, but maybe a message from the other side. You know, I had some guidance. You know, I got picked up and said, you know what, King Kansas, come on, get yourself out of the gutter. You know, Tinky wanted you to do better. She would want you to prosper, entertain all you guys on YouTube and continue doing the things that I love to do. You know, and of course, by doing so, you bring a piece of her with you and, you know, present it to all the masses ahead of you, you know. So it's only good things can come even though through this darkest, tough times that I've gone through. Miss her like crazy. She would always be missed. I'll tell you right now, but I'll be definitely carrying her right here in my heart moving forward. And uh, what a great way to motivate the king to be even better than he was before and to achieve success on many levels. And at the same time, bringing you guys along for the ride. And I have to thank all you guys for all the well wishes right here, Throne Nation, and on the podcast Outlaws. I will do my best not to let you down and not to let her down as well. And, of course, this will be marking the first day or the new era of the Tinky Marie era. So moving forward, let's get things on the right foot. And uh, new beginning, new fresh start, like I said, They'll never forget, you always remember, and as, as long as you remember, they always stay alive and with you all the time. So anyways, before I start getting emotional, King doesn't want to cry, but anyways, uh, thank you, I appreciate it, let's get to business. So guys, like always with my movie reviews, um, it's going to be kind of like the same, it's either going to be a movie recommendation when it's all said and done at the end of the video, but as for now, it's going to be movie reviews. Whether it's a movie that I've seen 20 years ago, a movie that I've seen for the first time, whatever, it'll be done. I'll give you guys a non-spoiler and then a spoiler-filled review. So be warned, there'll be that notification. Don't worry, I'm not going to ruin it for you, so stop crying. But anyways, I thought, what a fun way to jump back into things by watching a fun movie. And you can never go wrong with watching Kevin Hart and The Rock together. So what the hell movie I'm talking about? I'm talking about... Jumanji, The Next Level. It was released December 13, 2019, so Christmas time a year ago. Another 10 more days, and it's uh, it will be Tinky's birthday. So that's kind of cool. It's a good way to kind of transition back into something that I you know feel passionate about, and she was a big part of. But it's about an hour and 53 minutes, guys. It's directed by, let's see if I can get this right, Jake Kasdan, and it was released by Sony Pictures or Columbia Pictures, whatever you want. Uh very interesting movie, very fun-filled movie. Pretty much the whole cast has returned, including Colin Hanks, Nick Jonas, and with the addition of, this is cool, Danny DeVito and Danny Glover. Wow, they fit in perfectly, and they added so much, and they brought so much to the cast, and it allowed The Rock, Kevin Hart, and the rest of the cast to kind of play around with their characters a little bit more. But uh, my overall thoughts, guys fantastic just as good as the first movie it makes you laugh i wasn't bored not even for two minutes of the film i love the first one. Second one this one phenomenal like i was always wondering how the hell are you going to be doing the same movie with the same characters what is there left to do they did it they mixed it up they had each other it's not spoilers you got different characters playing different characters within a video game. It's the best way I did it. And with the added twist of Danny DeVito, and, oh my God, and uh, Danny Glover being thrown to the mix and bringing their characteristics to the games was hilarious. It was old versus new or old meets new, old school, new school kind of thing. Like, you know, they're kind of like trying to understand the game and trying not to annoy other people. And the kids are trying to explain without them blowing up in their face. But, wow, what an amazing adventure. They go back into the game, and it goes from that. Spencer's kind of like having a hard time in New York, and he ends up coming back home for the holidays. 
he's not doing too well compared to the other kids. They're kind of like moving on and going their own way and kind of succeeding. And he feels a little lost, like he's lost himself, right? And I think he broke up with uh, one of the characters, uh, one of the girls in there. I can't remember her name right now. Let's see if I can look up. I think her name was Ruby in the game, but I can't remember her damn name, the actress, but whatever. He ends up breaking up with her and uh, Marsha, I think her name was, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, he ends up coming back. Instead of facing the music, he decides, you know what? I'm going to tinker with this thing, put it together somehow. And he gets sucked in. And that's where the adventure continues. Yeah, uh, They all meet up the next day. He doesn't show up. And they're wondering, where the hell is he? They end up going back to uh, his house where Danny DeVito is. His grandfather, Eddie, is there. And he's going through a hard time. He's like really down on luck. He had a restaurant with Milo played by... Uh, Danny Glover, they close down after a certain amount of time. So he's a little pissed off and upset, grumpy, like old people are, believe it or not. And uh, somehow they get thrown into the mix of this whole world of Jumanji. And then the adventure continues. There's so many cool special effects. You got camels. You got ostriches. You got funny, funny moments. You got old, uh, like kind of like recaps or moments of previous uh movie like you know things that happen to them that they don't want to repeat in this one while teaching them and stuff does go down you got monkeys you got people you got things blowing up it is hilarious it's a fun ride from beginning to end and there's a purpose um they got to get back a stone pretty much and restore peace to the place and get it from this barbarian kind of warlord who wants to make everything dark doomy and gloomy and destroy jumanji and put it into the way or re-envision it the way he wants to but they're there to save the day and at the same time they're there to find their friend Spencer which they end up doing and they succeed at the end so there is a happy ending just to let you know and uh, of course some people get left behind Colin Hanks gets involved he doesn't want to go back but he's going to go back to save them pretty cool moments uh, very well written enjoyable Fun for the whole entire family. I highly recommend you checking it out. So I will be recommending this definitely to all you guys to check it out. You know, So check it out for yourselves. And then come back in the comment section. Let the king know if he's right on the money. Did you guys like it better than the first one that was released? The sequel? Or did you like this one more? Or did you like them both the same like I did? I personally think they're on the same level. But I think I enjoyed this a little bit more just because of who they brought aboard. And how they were fooling around with the characters to make them more unique than they were before, personally. So there you go. Uh, spoilers, guys. As far as I would say, like I said, Spencer is all pissed off. Put that spoiler alert up there. Spencer is upset that everybody is moved on with their life. Looked like they're having a good time. He's struggling at school. He's not doing too well. His grandpa, Eddie, has kind of like fell and hurt himself. He goes back home. He discovers that he's there living there. Him and his partner, played by Danny DeVito, uh, business partners, they end up closing this restaurant. So they kind of have like a love-hate relationship there that they butt heads and he doesn't want to see him. You find out all these details later on in the movie, but you find out he did so because Danny Glover's character, big spoiler, is not going to be around too long. I think he's going to be passing away and that's why he kind of stepped by and wanted to live life, but he didn't want to tell Danny DeVito's character. But once he does find out, he kind of comes around to him and... You know, they reformed that bond they had before as friends and stuff like that. It's pretty sad at the end. He ends up staying there anyways, which is good for him because that way he can live on, right? Pretty much. But, oh, my God, just getting sucked back into the game because they got to find Spencer because he disappeared. And trying to explain to Danny DeVito as uh, uh, Kevin Hart's character, oh, my God, Mouse. And Dwayne Johnson's character, Bravestone, is played by Danny DeVito. Just to explain the game rules to them was hilarious. Not all the team members meant that one of them got left behind that she ends up uh, going to find Colin Hanks to help her get back into the game, put it together because they have to save the team. So she ends up coming into the game later on uh, and she becomes this horse. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Nick Jonas is Colin Hanks character. I think he's, uh, what's his name, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Seaplane, right? It's hilarious. They, they come near the end of the film to kind of lend a hand and save the day kind of thing. Because there's one scene, they're getting chased by monkeys, and it's the only way they can escape is when they come on horseback ride, 
and they take up everybody and save the day and then going to the mountain that they got to get this jewel from uh this barbarian guy played by uh what's his name before i don't want to mess it around rory mccann uh he plays jurgen the bold or something like that he's like a barbarian let's just say what it is guys so it's kind of like a game of thrones little thing going on there which is pretty cool a lot of funny scenes uh, you have The Rock acting like Danny DeVito's character in real life, like the Uncle Eddie. Man, both those guys, even Kevin Hart, pulled it off. Like, And then you have uh, certain guys who were in certain bodies before, like the person who was in Jack Black's body is not there no more. You have new characters like Aquafina showed up. She plays Ming, which originally is Spencer in the game, and they find that out later on. You'll, you guys will discover it. But funny moments, you got Danny Glover's character as uh as uh kevin hart's character and he's the one who does the map reading and by the t or the you know with the animals and shit and by the time he kind of like spits out what he needs to they end up losing a lot of lives like i'm telling you over the stupidest things but it's done so well you laugh it's dumb it's cheesy you know it's coming but it's hilarious it still works the jokes in this work just as much as the first one and if not sometimes even better like i was always wondering Okay, they're going to do another one. What else are they going to do different? And they did. They put a spin on the characters and people being in the wrong bodies and acting a certain way. And then there's a scene near the end that they get this Jumanji fruit that you touch that and you kind of like in this water thing, and you kind of switch bodies. So they end up properly, like near the end of the movie, they end up getting into the right bodies in order to do what they need to do to save the day because they weren't going to do it with one life each and all that crap and save the day if uh, they were in the same bodies. But my God. Music being played by Karen uh, Gillan's thing, attacking and killing everybody, having the nunchucks, like, fantastic. Like, the cast brought their A game, and I hope they bring out another one because I can't wait to watch it. It's like an hour and 53 minutes, guys, and it felt an hour and a half, to tell you the truth. I totally enjoyed it, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it too. But it, the jokes work. The actors brought it. Danny DeVito and Danny Glover both bought into it. Amazing. The little time that Nick Jonas was in there and uh, Colin Hanks, good job on both of them. The young actors who portrayed them out of the game, phenomenal. The same ones came back. The main cast was great. The Rock's chemistry with it, amazing. And they took it to another level, like I said. like You find out the truth in the game, why Danny, De Danny Glover's character came back to kind of find them from all the years after kind of like going their separate ways. Pretty sad, but pretty nice. Uh, the ending's pretty cool. You know there's going to be another sequel. There's going to be another third part because we're never going to go back. And that's what they kind of said the last time and they end up doing so. But as long as they reinvent it and make it interesting, I'll watch it. So there you go, guys. I totally enjoyed it. I totally recommend this movie to all you guys on YouTube land. Go check it out. Come back. Let the king know personally. Did you guys like it? Hate it? Did you like it better than the sequel? The first one, did you pass on it? Let me know. Either way, I would like to read it. And uh, I'll read it in the comment sections. You know me. I have all the time in the world for now. Locked up in COVID and stuff. Anything to cheer the king up, you know. And uh, that's what movies are for. To bring you joy, sadness, you name it, the works. To get you through hard times, good times, bad times, whatever. That's what they're here. That's why the king's here. King has decided, you know what? With a little inner strength, a little guidance, you know, a little uh, dog on my shoulder, and I'm good to go. So there you go, guys. That is this week's movie review right here on the Movie Throne. Hope you guys liked it. Check out my other content. Check out the other playlist, guys. All, everything is there. Check out the podcast Outlaws. That's going to be returning this week as well. That's going to be phenomenal. Uh, you guys are going to enjoy that. Different side of me. A lot meaner, not as nice as this uh, sweet guy. Same beard, different attitude. Let's just say that. So until then, stay off the king's throne, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week where? Right here on the movie throne. Take it easy. Long live Tinky. The Tinky Mariera has begun. Take it easy, guys.